um, of two different types. No, this is going to be too much. Do I have a way to take down the volume a little bit? Let's see. Good. No. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to show them because you're going to be, uh, I think it's going to be too much. But basically you see people drumming, you see an analysis of their emotion, it's an automatic analysis. And what I can show you here are their faces. I can tell you that this group was pretty uh, neutral and quite bored with this assignment versus this group that had a lot of laughter and it was very contagious and it was fun for them. And this is the type of signals we get from the two groups. So this is one group. This is a two, uh, like a dyadic approach, a reciprocal approach to looking at the data. This is heart rate data from two people. So all possible dyads in one three-person group. And even without knowing anything about synchrony, you can just look at it and see that the two signals in panel A on all dyads change together more, are more coupled than the two signals in group B. So this is a more synchronous heart rate group, and this is a less synchronous heart rate group. And I didn't even show you how we calculate this, but when we calculate this in a linear way, a nonlinear way, you actually see that the levels of synchrony in group A are higher than the level of synchrony in group B. But this is a two-person approach to coupling. And Shaha, with his uh, thesis in computer science, came up with a really neat idea of looking at this in a way that's more appropriate for a three-person group. So how can we visualize the strength of heart rate coupling in three persons group? He had a great idea, which is triangles, and he calculated the strength of heart rate. The strength is um, represented by the length of each side of the triangle. So a shorter length means higher, stronger coupling. And then there's another dimension, another parameter that he took into account, which is, uh, how um, equilateral, this, was, this is something I learned from working with Jaha, thank you. How equilateral the triangles are. So are all dyads in the uh, trio similar in their strength? Or is there actually one dyad that's very highly coupled and two that are less so? Or are all three dyads less coupled? So this is an example of a triangle with three strong, uh, a strong three-way coupling. This is an example of a group with two-way coupling, and this is an example of a group with no heart rate coupling. And then what Shahar did was try and see if we can uh, cluster them, these triangles, in a way that would differentiate them into different groups. And indeed, he was able to cluster different types of subgroups in the analysis. And the nice thing about this is that when we look at it in trying to figure out why this group had less fun, was less cohesive than this group, we see that they cluster into different types of triangles. This is a more tightly coupled homogeneous group, whereas this group that kind of fell apart, it was still homogeneous, but with a much uh, less strong coupling. And Shahal is here, so if you want to ask him more about it, 